Operating in the Courts of Heaven, Chapter 12. Thrones. The first rank mentioned in thrones. The word in the Greek means to sit, a stately seat, a potentate. Anyone who sits on a throne in heaven has a voice in the heavenly court. Remember, there are thrones around the thorns of thrones of, in heaven. Daniel 7, 9 scripture records that there are 24 thrones around God's throne, but there are probably many more. I would suggest that archangels are some who sit on the thrones. The word archangels come from the Greek word archo and means first in rank and political power. If thrones are listed first in the spirit realm, this means they must be occupied by archangels. First Thessalonians 4.16 says that archangels will accompany Jesus at his return. The Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. First Thessalonians 4.16 the voice of an archangel has the power to bring dead people back to life. Archangels are very powerful beings. Michael is also said to be an archangel. Judah 8 and 9 tells us that Michael contended with the devil. Likewise, also these dreamers defile the flesh, reject authority, and speak evil of dignitaries. Yet Michael the archangel is contending with the devil when he disputed about the body of, of Moses, dared not bring it against him a Rivaling accusation, but said the Lord rebuke you, Jude 8, 9. Michael as an archangel was very careful to stay within his jurisdiction. He actually invoked the Lord himself to rebuke the devil. If Michael, one of the archangels of heaven, is so careful to stay within his jurisdiction, how much more should we? Also, please be aware in John 5, 28-29, Jesus said that th this voice would indeed bring people in the graves back to life. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in graves will hear his voice and come forth. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. John 5, 28-29. It states here that it is Jesus' voice that will bring them from the grave. And yet when Jesus comes back, it is within the voice of the archangel. If in fact the voice of the archangel is speaking on behalf of Jesus, it is as if Jesus himself is uttering the words. Suffice it to say that these archangels carry great power and authority from the Lord. They therefore, uh, they therefore from the position of thrones, have influence in the courts of the Lord.